So we were talking about Shaduchim. And, uh, what, shidduchim, is, what is Shaduchim? Okay, yeah, let me explain Shaduchim real quick for, for the people. Uh, shaduchim is how Orthodox Jews to the right of the community date. Um, not necessarily does everyone use Shaduchim, but most people that are considered yeshivish, uh, you can watch my YouTube video on yeshivish. Quick plug. Uh, yeah, quick plug. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Um, on yeshivish Orthodox Judaism. But uh, most people that are yeshivish use the shidduch system. And I also have a great video on YouTube that um, has 5,000 views. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this guy must be good. Yeah, it must be really good if it has 5,000 views. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Uh, explaining what Shaduchim is. But to briefly explain it, it's a expedited process of dating for the purpose of marriage. And there's no physical touch. And it's all for, you go on maybe 12 to 30 dates, let's say. 30 is high, 12 is pretty low. Some people even do less than 12, to be frank. Uh, probably not a great idea. But <laughs> not advisable. Not advisable. Yeah. And uh, each date lasts between, kind of like in the beginning stages, maybe three to five hours. And then the later stages, people do like 10 hour dates. But, anyways, basically, you get to know each other. You kind of decide if philosophically you line up, if you want to have the same type of life. And if you guys vibe, um, obviously attraction is, is definitely a factor. Dude! 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 And then uh, people just get married. And then it happens quick, you know, within two to three months, people are getting engaged. And then a few months after that, the wedding happens. Usually parents help out to facilitate the wedding. Uh, for more details, definitely check out my YouTube video. <laughs> You serious? If you go on YouTube, type in Gabi Kalinov, the same name uh, as the podcast, you will find the video. But to talk about it with Aaron, uh, Aaron has some issues with the podcast. I'll let him uh, take... Not with the podcast. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, with the, uh, with the shit system. It's the first episode. How could I have any issues with it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, Aaron has some issues with the shit system. And uh, let's hear him talk about it. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't want to. Uh, I want to keep this, uh, you know, civil. I don't want to because yep. like this, this topic sometimes can really get me going. That's what she said. I would say I just feel like it's too formal. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of feel like the dating experience should be more explorative, more fun. Extreme. I was less structured more of like, you know, screw up, figure it out, see what happens, you know? Mm -hmm. There are obvious advantages to the shidduch system. It's very efficient, yeah. you know? It, it, it doesn't waste any time. It, it expedites the process. You know, it's very, what we say in the from world, tachlis oriented. Tachlis means purpose. It's like purpose driven, you mm -hmm. know? It's not just for the sake of doing it. It's not for fun. It's not, you know, not, not that it can't be fun, but it's mm -hmm. not for really enjoyment, fun, pleasure, you know, experience. It's really for, okay, are we compatible? Can we, you know, are we into each other? Do we have the same values? Do we mm -hmm. see ourselves, you know, going in the same direction? Let me, by the way, just, just, um, caveat all this by saying I've never been on a shirk date, <laughs> so I could be totally wrong, but this is what I hear from my friends from, you know, yeah. the, 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 the community I grew up in. I think, you know, this is the basic idea. I mean, people maybe listen to this podcast and be like, oh, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Never been on a shirk date. Don't listen to him. Uh, don't worry. I've been on too many dates, <laughs> so I'll compensate here. But that is like, I guess in short, my, my issue with the system, I kind of think that for myself at least, and a lot of times I, I would think, you know, for other people, I feel like people can be in a rush to get married. And I understand, you know, mm -hmm. I understand like, you know, you want the companionship, the loneliness, like, you know, this is not something new, obviously. And I understand like people have a desire to get married. And this is especially true since, you know, in the, from community, like guys and girls are generally kept separate. Like I wasn't right. separate, you know, well, both of us were, you know, until I was, until I was 21, I went to college. I talk to girls very infrequently, you know. Let's all start clapping. Never had a girlfriend. And, you know, this is, marriage is the first time you're going to do that in like an intimate and meaningful way. So I understand, you know, that you want to get there already. You don't want to, you know, wait. But at the same time, like, you know, there are now, I'll just say my, my brother uh, got, he got engaged just last Positive. week. Thank you. As for it was last night, Gabi, Gabi was there and we had a lot of fun. We had a blast. So my brother is younger than me. He's 23 years old and he's going to be getting married in March. He'll be, yeah, he'll still be 23. And like, you know, right. 
for like, like it's, it's like a weird thing. Cause for, you know, for, for someone like in that community, it's like, if you're 23 and you've never had a girlfriend, like that's like crazy. But at the same time, it's like, you're 23 and you're getting married. Like that's so young, yeah. you know? So it's like, on the one hand, it's like almost like too late, not too late, but it's almost like really late to like have your first like relationship with a, with a, with a woman. Mm. But it's also like mm-hmm. really early to like be committing to something that this is, and this is something that me and Gabi have, you know, talked about at length, yeah. especially over the last 24 hours. <laughs> but like, you know, this is like, this is the, this is the biggest commitment I think that anyone will ever make, you know, this right. is for life. And I, you know, I don't, I've never been divorced right. obviously, but I imagine divorce is really bad. It's not, it's not really like, you know, uh, like, like plan B it's like, it's not a good option, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, this is what you're doing. This is your life. This is going to define who you become. And if you want to get religious about it, like this is you for eternity in a sense. Mm-hmm. And I just think that having that rush since, you know, you're not having that intimacy or, you know, uh, you know, relationship relationships with, you know, you're not having a girlfriend, you're not having, you know, anything to do with women really for your entire life until you're entering the shit system. I just feel like to, to, for two, three months, you know, to jump into something that quick, like, like you're going to look back in 30 years and be like, wow, I made that decision over two months. And like, we've been now married thir- Like it's like the, the amount of time that you will have with this person is like, it's almost infathomable when you think about it.